The Quest for the Celestial Key Once upon a time, in a land filled with enchantment and wonder, there was a small village nestled at the foot of a towering mountain. This mountain was no ordinary mountain, it was known as the Celestial Peak, and it was said to hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe. The people of the village were simple and humble, but they held a deep reverence for the Celestial Peak. They believed that at the mountain's summit, there existed a legendary key, the Celestial Key, which had the power to unlock hidden knowledge and grant the one who possessed it great wisdom. For generations, the villagers had told tales of the Celestial Key, but no one had ever ventured up the treacherous path to the summit. They spoke of mythical creatures and magical trials that would test the courage and determination of any who dared to seek the key. Among the villagers, there was a young girl named Ava. She had always been fascinated by the stories of the celestial key and dreamt of embarking on a grand adventure to find it. She believed that the key held the answers to questions that had puzzled her curious mind for years. One crisp morning, as the sun painted the sky with hues of pink and gold, Ava made a decision. She would set out on a quest to find the celestial key and unlock the mysteries of the universe. With a backpack filled with supplies, a heart full of courage, and a determination that burned brighter than any star, she began her ascent of the celestial peak. The journey was far more challenging than Ava could have imagined. She encountered rushing rivers, dense forests, and sheer cliffs that seemed to reach the heavens themselves. But with every obstacle she faced, she drew strength from her unwavering belief in the existence of the celestial key. As she climbed higher and higher, the air grew thinner, and the path grew steeper. Ava's legs ached, and her breath came in ragged gasps, but she pressed on. She knew that she was on the verge of something extraordinary. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, Ava reached the summit of the celestial peak. The sight that greeted her took her breath away. Before her lay a radiant pool of water, its surface reflecting the stars above as if it were a mirror to the heavens. In the center of the pool floated a shimmering key, the celestial key. Ava approached the pool with reverence, and as she reached out to grasp the key, a voice echoed in her mind. It was a voice filled with ancient wisdom, a voice that had been waiting for her. The voice whispered secrets of the cosmos, answered questions that had puzzled scholars for generations, and bestowed upon Ava a profound understanding of the universe. With the celestial key in her possession, Ava knew that her quest was complete. She began her descent from the summit, carrying with her the knowledge and wisdom she had gained. As she returned to the village, she shared her newfound understanding with her fellow villagers, filling their hearts and minds with wonder and enlightenment. From that day forward, the village at the foot of the celestial peak prospered, its people living in harmony with the mysteries of the universe. And Ava, the girl who had embarked on a daring quest, became a revered figure, known as the keeper of the celestial key, and her legacy lived on for generations to come. Tales from the Forgotten Carnival In a quiet corner of a sleepy town, Hidden away among overgrown trees and forgotten memories, lay the remnants of a once vibrant carnival. This place was unlike any other, for it was the site of countless stories, mysteries, and a touch of magic. 
The carnival had long been abandoned, its rides and stalls covered in a shroud of vines, and its colorful banners faded by time. Yet, if you listened closely, you could still hear the faint echoes of laughter and joy that had once filled the air. One bright summer morning, a group of curious children from the town decided to explore the forgotten carnival. They had heard stories from their grandparents about the magical wonders and peculiar happenings that used to take place there. As they stepped through the rusted gate and onto the cracked pavement, they were greeted by a sense of wonder. The carousel, though stationary, seemed to spin with the memories of children laughing and riding on its painted horses. Their journey led them to a mysterious tent covered in dust and cobwebs. Inside, they discovered an old fortune teller's booth. The wooden sign read Madame Zephyr's mystical predictions. The children giggled nervously as they took turns sitting in the creaky chair. With a theatrical flourish, they pulled the dusty curtain to reveal an ancient-looking fortune-telling machine. It sprang to life, its gears and levers moving on their own, as if guided by an invisible hand. The machine clanked and whirred, and out came a slip of paper with a cryptic message. Each child took their turn, receiving their own enigmatic predictions. Though they didn't fully understand the words, the messages felt strangely comforting, as if the carnival itself had whispered secrets into their ears. The group continued their exploration, stumbling upon an old tent filled with forgotten games. They tried their luck at knocking down cans, tossing rings onto bottles, and even an antique shooting gallery. To their amazement, the games seemed to play themselves, as if the spirits of carnival goers past were joining in the fun. As the day wore on, the children discovered a hidden garden at the heart of the carnival. Its lush greenery and vibrant flowers stood in stark contrast to the decay surrounding them. In the center of the garden was a weathered statue of a clown holding a bouquet of roses. As one of the children approached the statue, a gust of wind swept through the garden, causing the roses to bloom with a burst of color and fragrance. It was as if the clown had come to life for a brief moment to share its beauty with the world. The sun began to set casting a warm golden glow over the forgotten carnival. The children felt a deep sense of gratitude for the day's adventures. With their hearts full of wonder and their minds filled with tales of magic, they made their way back to the town, leaving behind the carnival once more. As they walked away, they couldn't help but look back one last time knowing that the stories of the forgotten carnival would live on in their memories, ready to be passed down to future generations.